Hey again, Hampshire chemistry students. We're back here today looking at our weak acid equilibrium homework. Hey, in this example, we're going to be going through some different problems together and seeing how it all sets up. Now, we already talked about kind of number one and number two in our notes just a few minutes ago. So if you need to go back and watch those guys to help you with those questions. Hey, but in this case, let's take a jump right into number three. We're going to be dealing with hydrofluoric acid, or HF. If you're a fan of Breaking Bad, you might know that this, this acid plays a role in the beginning of that series. Hey, but let's write out the dissociation for HF. Remember, we're talking about dissociation. We're talking about things breaking apart. So I'm going to be showing that I'm going to be making that H plus ion plus and F minus ion. Okay? And I'm going to use this equation here to help me set up and write out my Ka expression for this type of problem. I'm going to have Ka is going to be equal to, again, we're going to do products over reactants. So I'm going to do my H plus concentration times the F minus concentration over the original acids concentration, the HF. Now, these guys are all going to come together and help me answer like part B. Because in this case, we're given the Ka of hydrofluoric acid as well as the H plus concentration. We're going to want to set up a little ice table over here. And we're going to use this to help us break down how much of our acid is being converted and make sure that it all comes out nice and neat. So we're going to have an ice table. Okay. We know our initial amount of H plus a concentration by, actually, we know the 0.2 molar solution of hydrofluoric acids, so that is our 0.2 molar here. And since we aren't given any other information, these guys always, of course, are going to start off at zero. Right? But so, from this point is where we diverge from our other KEQ problems. Because okay? if you notice, this Ka value is very, very tiny in comparison to some of our other uh, KEQ values we've looked at. Normally, sometimes they can be upwards of several hundreds or thousands. Okay? What this means, of course, is that you have very, very little product being created, very little H plus and F minus. Okay? So what I can do here is, yes, there is going to be a minus X because we're going to be losing uh, some of our HF and we're going to be creating these guys. But one of the things that we can do here is that we can actually assume that since this Ka is so small, we're making so little product that only a teeny tiny amount of HF is being reacted, we can actually bring down this 0.2 molar because this is barely going to change at all. And this is going to be super useful because I know that these guys are now X and I can go ahead and plug this in to my Ka equation. And I can set this up that my Ka, which of course is our 6.6 times 10 to the negative fourth molar, that's going to be equal to our x squared okay, over the top of 0 0.2 molar. Okay, because I have x for h plus times x for f minus, so x squared. And the H, hf concentration we know is going to be just about 0 0.2 molar. Okay. Now I just need to solve for my x values. Now you should be able to end up and multiply both sides and get x squared to be equal to 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative fourth okay. uh, times the 0 0.2, which gives you, okay, this is, should be 1.32 times 10 to the negative fourth. And then, of course, square rooty dooting, and I'm going to get x equal to 0 0.0115 molar. Okay. This is, of course, going to be equal to our H plus concentration. Why do we care about that? Well, because our problem part C here, it asks us to calculate the pH of the solution. We know that pH is equal to the negative log of our H plus concentration, which in this case ends up being the 0 0.0015 molar. Okay. And I end up with a pH of this problem okay, of... 1.94 for my final answer. Okay. So we're using a mini ice table here. The main difference being that when we do uh, subtraction here, this is such a tiny amount, a small keq, a small ka, that uh, this equilibrium stays the same. And I can just plug this into my equation. And as you try some of these more, more of these guys, you might start to notice some patterns. That's OK. If you find a pattern that works, Keep using it. See if you can simplify this and better your understanding as we go forward. 
right? So that's about it. I'm going to leave you guys the rest. The answers are all down here on the bottom. You can see we did get the correct answer for number three, right? And this is all yours to take advantage of. Right? Take some time. Let's keep going, and let's show our best work. Have a great day, guys.